In my last video, I mentioned my virtual machine cluster. Um, this is actually two machines, and you can kind of see the specs here on the screen, so I won't go into them. But these are two machines that are running this Proxmox virtual environment, which is a really great, easy, free, open source, um, bare metal installed um, virtual environment that allows you to run pretty much anything. Um, as long as your machines support um, hardware virtualization, either through AMD Vert or Intel VI technology or whatever, um, basically it's hardware assisted virtualization. You can use uh, KVM to create Windows machines, and you can use uh, OpenVZ to create Linux machines. So I have these two Linux uh, LAMP servers, they're just basic web servers. And uh, this LAMP1 is actually running this installation of OpenGoo. And uh, you can see that it's up and running. And uh, we can see that it's running here in all of its specs. And it's running on a cluster node 2. And I can come back here and I can see the specs for cluster node 2. And I can take a look and see that everything's OK. But what makes this really cool is, let's say that I need to take cluster node 2 down because I need to add a hard drive or put a bigger hard drive in. Well, because these are a clustered virtual environment, I can just use this migrate tool and I can even do an online migration. And if something happens and the online migration fails, it will just go ahead and continue running on the um, originating server. But even if you allow for some downtime, uh, the move is still quite fast. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit that migrate um, button, and you can see that it's executing the command. And I can see the traffic going across the switch. Um, where it's actually moving the data across the network. And my users could still be using the application. They might notice a little bit of a performance blip, um, but probably not. Um, But you see that the app is still running just fine as it still copies the data across. Um, my SSH connection just died that I forgot about as it stops the container. So now our users are going to see some downtime as indicated by the spinning beach ball there. Oh, and it's back up. And the VM 101 migration done, I can come back and see that the VM is now running on vhost1. So that's just a little introduction of Proxmox in a cluster configuration. Um, takes about 10 minutes to bring a box online. And it gives you some great tools for managing your virtual machines.